everyone and welcome to Nanny Cooks from the Ozark. Today is Labor Day and it is the kind of the unofficial start of fall and uh, in fall we start thinking about hearty meals and pumpkin spice and things like that. So today I have a recipe that will help you on in these hearty meals. Uh, you know for the last year, grocery prices have gone out of this world. And uh, one of the things that uh, we use a lot of in hearty meals is these cream soups. And they're running about a dollar and a half a piece now, and that adds up quickly. So I have recipes today to show you how you can make these soups more economically and they don't have additives and preservatives in them. Uh, one thing I was noticing about all of these soups is they all have masonium glutamate, and some people just can't tolerate that. So uh, this recipe that I'll be giving you today does not have any preservatives in it. Now, I have mixed up a batch of the soup mix that uh, I use for this and like I said this will be much cheaper than buying um, these mixes or these soups in the store so uh, I'll post this recipe uh, on our website to to help you but uh, basically it just calls for two cans of dry milk powder three-fourths cup of starch of the cornstarch that is and some uh, onion powder, garlic powder, dried basil, thyme, and pepper. And again, I will post all of these recipes for you. And I have mixed up a batch here of the cream of chicken soup. And you'll see that it just looks like what you get out of the can, but it doesn't have the additives and preservatives in it. Now, I will show you five different soups that you can make with this mix. Uh, you start with the basic mix and you add one and a fourth cup of water and a third of a cup of this mix and you cook it for two minutes and stir it constantly as you do that. And from that, you can add chicken, chop it up fine. You can add celery for cream of celery soup and again, chop it mushrooms, you can make broccoli creamy soup, and you can make cheese, cream of cheese soup. And my husband said you could combine both of these together and have broccoli cheese soup too. So this is, this is very economical and it's fast to have in your cabinet and you'll save money at the same time too. So, like I said, I will post this recipe for you. Now, I'm going to start with my videos giving you a tip of the day that might help you with your cooking. And the tip today is when you start a recipe, gather all of your ingredients in front of you for two reasons. Number one is to make sure you have everything you need for the recipe. And number two, it saves you a lot of running around trying to gather thing up and it's more of a chance of leaving an item out of your recipe too. So that's the tip of the day. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe and share these videos. And also, we love to hear your comments. So uh, if you have time, Give us a comment and if you try this let us know how you like it and remember you can watch us on facebook on pinterest on youtube and pretty soon possibly on tiktok so i hope you have a great day and we'll see you the next time bye bye